Number 1. Nicholas II Packard Twin 6 with K-Grace Track The Tsar Nicholas II Packard Twin 6 with K-Grace Track is one of the first modified off-road vehicles ever and was a conversion done by Adolf Kegres, who designed the original while working for Tsar Nicholas II of Russia between 1906 and 1916. The system uses an unusual caterpillar track, which has a flexible belt rather than interlocking metal segments. It can be fitted to a conventional car or truck to turn it into a half track suitable for use over rough or soft ground. It has conventional front steering and skis can be fitted to the front wheels. Number 2. Rolagon the Rolagon was something that at the time must have been seen as bizarre. It was a vehicle that the army was designing that had special tires, which are like big balloons that can go over almost any surface, except probably a bed of nails. Trial runs show the five-ton truck driving over deep gullies and even over the top of its creator lying in the road without smashing him. The really cool thing is watching this truck crawl up a plank on the side of a building. Built in the 50s, the Rolagon used low-pressure tires that literally absorb bumps in objects, rather than going over them. Even to this day, Rolagons are still used in oil fields. Number 3. Armstead Snow Motor Vehicle This vehicle is really bizarre, and you've probably never seen anything like it. It uses two giant grooved cylindrical screws which spin at different speeds to turn, and even move the vehicle in reverse. The idea was to create something that would stop a vehicle from slipping or sliding on the ice or the snow. The first prototypes used a tractor engine, and it actually looks like it was a lot of fun to drive around, as it could go through deep snow, through forest crush, and on any road, or non-road, where a conventional vehicle couldn't pass, even snow four feet deep. Number 4. Record-Breaking Four-Wheel Drive and when it comes to legendary and revolutionary off-road vehicles, the TC-497 Overland Train MK2 is at the top of the list. It holds the record for the largest off-road vehicle ever made. It's 572 feet long and has four 1,170 horsepower solar gas turbine engines, giving it a total of 4,680 horsepower. It's so powerful it can carry 100 tons of cargo over extremely large distances. It was designed to move freight over different weather and land conditions, such as deserts, and be able to crawl over deep desert sand, the icy cold conditions of the Arctic, and other places with rough terrain. You might think the wheels on this thing look familiar. That might be because you're familiar with the monster truck Bigfoot. The Overland is where the truck got its tires and wheels from. Part 2. DIY Chainlink 4x4 Some do-it-yourself vehicles out there are really crazy looking and are engineered with some unique technology like this Chainlink 4x4. This over-the-top custom 4x4 has an incredibly articulate suspension, which allows it to crawl and drive over just about any terrain, including wildly irregular surfaces. Under the hood, providing power is a 5.0-liter V8 from a 1993 Ford Mustang. To see this thing in action is almost mind-boggling, as it seems like both halves of the vehicle can move over completely different terrain. Part 3. Others Number 6. Tatra T8113 Kolos The Tatra was a truck that was produced in Czechoslovakia by the Tatra company from 1967 to 1982. The basic representative of this series was a military version of the 8x8 Kolos, or Colossus, which is able to pull trailers up to a total weight of 100 tons. The company also produced a civilian version in a choice of 4x4 or 6x6. After 15 years of being in production, a total of 11,751 vehicles were built in all modifications. Many of the units were exported to the USSR, Romania, East Germany, and India. The first prototype had permanent four-wheel drive, and it was powered by a naturally aspirated V12 engine. The T930, which was designed by welding four more cylinders to the original T928 V8 engine. The chassis was unique in this vehicle, and is a full-length backbone tube with independent swing half-axles. Number 7. Burlak the amphibious six-wheel Burlak is a crazy-looking off-road vehicle that is being designed by Russian engineers as an autonomous expedition vehicle for the North Pole. This unique six-wheeled vehicle can carry up to 10 researchers comfortably to the planet's most extreme places and back. 
The 22-foot-long vehicle, 7 meters, is a real go-anywhere vehicle that was originally a BTR-60 armored fighting vehicle. Now it's unrecognizable as an all-terrain monster with wheels as tall as a man. Load capacity on the Burlak, which means hauler, has an enormous load capacity of 3 tons. You probably think it would be too cold or too hot inside this thing depending on where you are. But the body is heavily insulated and it is also equipped with a kitchen, shower and other amenities. And if something goes wrong, all the vehicle's systems and even the engine are accessible from inside the vehicle. Number 8. Aton Impulse Viking 2992 Hailing from the automotive production megaplex of Nabarazin Chelny in southwest Russia, the Aton Impulse Viking is a no-nonsense Russian seven-seater that looks like an apocalyptic off-roader. This gigantic amphibious seven-seater looks like every bit of a Tonka monster truck. Surprisingly, the Viking 2992 weighs over 3.3 tons, but it's fitted with a remarkably small 1770cc engine, topping out at just 82 horsepower and 98 feet per pound of torque. In fact, it's the same Vaz 2130 engine used in the Lada Neva off-roader. As such, it's not a speedster. Targeted as an emergency rescue vehicle and heavy industrial getabout, the Viking only goes about 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers per hour on the road, but it can also move about 9 miles per hour on the water. It rides on giant balloon tires and the driver can adjust tire pressures at any time from inside the cabin. The suspension is also pneumatically adjustable to give you 10 inches 25 centimeters more ground clearance when you need it. The key is low tire pressure creates bigger contact patches, minimizing ground pressure and environmental damage. How much would all this cost you? The Viking 2992 sells for about $200,000, but you can option it up over $350,000 as a 12-seat, 6-wheeler with a self-propelled trailer on the back. Number 9. Torsus Praetorian If you were ever in the need for a four-wheel drive bus, then the Torsus Praetorian would be your ultimate choice. The Czech Republic-based company creates this rugged off-road vehicle. The basic model has 35 seats along with cargo space for equipment. It's powered by MAN's 6.9-liter .9 six-cylinder diesel engine with 236 horsepower and a whopping 682 foot-pounds of torque. It has a 12-speed automatic transmission and 4x4 system and a front differential lock gets the front wheels turning in unison to improve traction. Its rugged styling is accentuated by its high stance, unique bodywork and plenty of dark tinted glass. There is no kitchen or TV inside, but it's possible that future models could be more like motorhomes. Number 10. The Toyo Tires Ferret the Ferret was constructed using a 1959 British Ferret 4x4 military scout vehicle as the basic platform. It is heavily modified by action vehicle engineering. It has six massive Toyo Open Country tires, which are mounted on custom wheels and two of those are powered by hydraulic motors, which are operated from inside. It has a modified suspension with King shocks, which allow it to travel over the roughest terrain. It's powered by a Chevy LS engine, which is mounted in the rear and this thing flies and can move over almost any obstacle it encounters. The ferret would make an awesome military machine. Number 11. EFV Since we're talking about all-terrain vehicles, then we better not forget the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle, which was designed and built by General Dynamics Land Systems that is an amphibious armored tracked vehicle with an aluminum hull. The EFV has a crew of three and can transport 17 Marines or Army infantry and their equipment. The engine is a custom MTU Frederickshaven diesel with two modes of operation, a high power mode for planing over the sea and a low power mode for traveling over land. The vehicle is launched at sea from an amphibious assault ship beyond the horizon and is able to transport a full marine rifle squad to shore. It can maneuver cross country with the agility and mobile equal to or greater than the M1 Abrams. It also has three times the speed in water and twice the armor of the AAV, and even has superior firepower. Number 12. Zil Punisher Made by the Zil Company in Russia, this strange-looking vehicle is called the Punisher and is supposed to be Russia's next lightweight troop carrier, which is capable of hauling 10 people. It is a lightweight armored transport that is mine and bullet resistant and can quickly move troops across the battlefield. There are conflicting reports on the specifics, but what we do know is that it is capable of withstanding small arms fire up to 7.62 millimeters, 
roughly 30 caliber and what you would find coming from an AK-47. The truck is equipped with gull wing doors which give troops an easier time getting in and out of the vehicle. Side swinging rear doors allow troops inside to return fire. It's heavily armored and has a 26,000 pound curb weight. Despite being so heavy, it can still hit a top speed of 93 miles per hour. Imagine getting in an accident with this thing. It is the fastest armored troop transport in the world. Number 13. Moto's Triumph Speed Triple Frank Off-Road Bike Motorcycles are off-road vehicles, and we might put off a few people if we don't throw a motorcycle in here. And what better example of an off-road motorcycle than the Moto's Triumph Speed Triple Frank? It was designed and built by custom bike builder John Ryland of Classified Moto. The 2007 Triumph Speed Triple 1050 is the base of the bike and has a custom made swing arm that holds a big fat off-road tire. It ended up being the toughest part of the bike to fabricate. The rear tire is a big ATV tire and the engine puts out 130 horsepower. Parts came from a Honda VFR 800 and the custom swing arm is hooked up to a progressive suspension 465 series shock and the wheel is a tough aluminum alloy ITP Hurricane. It has an STI Black Diamond tire, which is a six-ply radial tire designed to work on hard ground, sand, and mud. The front tire is a Kenda Big Block, which is perfect for running around on a California beach somewhere.